microphone is working. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Uh, I know it's right after the lunch break, so uh, happy digestion. Uh, sorry for the delay. We encountered some technical difficulties. Uh, it's great that we are talking about new technologies and edge computing during this panel, and we are having troubles with even a PDF file to get on the screen. Uh, but we will do our best to uh, catch up with the little delay and we may get into the break for, uh, I don't know, two, three minutes, depending on how the panel is going. So we will talk about the um, OSF Edge Computing Group uh, during this panel. Um, we have quite a few panelists. I will let them to uh, introduce themselves. Uh, we will start with that and um, then dive into the details. Um, so myself, I'm Ildiko Vancha. I work for the OpenStack Foundation. I uh, do a lot of things, uh, and among those items, I'm one of the co-leaders of the Edge Working Group, and I'm um, focusing on mainly Edge and NFV topics within the foundation. And we have slides. So I let the panelists introduce themselves, and then we will deep dive into what the, what the Edge Working Group is and what we are doing and um, what you're here to learn about. How you doing? I'm David Patterson. Uh, I work with Dell EMC. I have been working with OpenStack for about five years now. In the last, say, eight months or so, concentrating on edge and implementing edge technology through OpenStack. Hi, my name is Gage Chatari. I'm working for the open source program office of uh, Nokia, and I've been working on OpenStack like since three years ago. And lately, I'm uh, I'm active mostly in the edge computing group. Uh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Chi Hui Zhao, and I'm from China Mobile. Uh, I've been working with uh, OpenStack for two years. Uh, it's not very long, but my whole work is all about OpenStack. And uh, uh, currently, I'm uh, also working in the uh, OpenStack community and OpenFE community. Thanks. Hi, uh, my name is Shu Quan Huan. I work for 99 Cloud. I actually I work a long time in OpenStack community. I my first job uh, uh, I joined the community since 2011, and I then moved to 99 Cloud. Right now, I'm also the TSC member of Starling X. I focus on the uh, edge computing area. And my name is Shen Wang. I work for Intel uh, for almost. Uh, 15 years, so I used to work on virtualization, so uh, also OpenStack. So right now I'm working on uh, networking and storage, uh, including Ceph, ONAP, and uh, edge computing, uh, like uh, StarlingX and uh, Aquino. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, with that, let's deep dive into um, some details about the working group itself. So um, we've started under the OpenStack Foundation umbrella, we started to um, work on edge computed related topics, uh, well, two and a half years now, or maybe even a, a bit longer than that. Uh, we have a, a foundation top level working group um, that's um, exploring the area of edge computing. Um, the focus of the working group itself is really to um, gather use cases, understand the requirements of, of these different edge computing use cases, and um, work on reference architectures and uh, also testing them. Uh, we are working together with both OpenStack Foundation projects and uh, further adjacent communities within the ecosystem. And um, the for working group's focus really is uh, a bit a more higher level, so we are not doing the coding ourselves, but we are trying to make sure that all the projects who are looking into the artifacts that the, the working group is generating, um, they have a good idea about what edge computing is and um, what direction they should be moving when they are working on coding and testing and integration type of work. Uh, the working group itself is not focusing on any industry segment specifically. Um, in our experience, um, edge computing, at least at the starting point, is, uh, is was more uh, telecom and operator heavy, uh, but our use cases and our work is not um, 
uh, focusing only on that, but we are li really trying to look into all industry segments and, uh, and learn from um, all those use cases out there. The working group is also uh, working on uh, white papers. Um, the slide has the link to the first white paper uh, that the group has produced. Um, the white paper is also available in uh, several languages besides English, so uh, you can access it in Chinese. Uh, the link is on the slide. And uh, we are currently working on, uh, on the second white paper, which will um, talk about reference architectures and, uh, and the testing work. Um, just um, a qu quick reminder that this is open source, so we would like all of you to participate. And um, during the panel, we will talk about the, the working group activities. Uh, both the global working group and we also happen to have um, a group locally in China uh, who are focusing on edge computing and we will talk about that uh, here as well. You can find information on the slides around how we are um, accessible and where all our resources are. Um, so with that, I would give the word to Gerge and David first uh, to talk about the reference architecture and testing work that the global group is working on. So uh, we've been having two different test efforts go on right now. Um, one model being the uh, distributed control plane, which has been primarily implemented by the Starling X folks. Um, I've helped them a little bit with deploying a workload there. And the other would be um, the centralized control plane basically sands the uh, large and medium edge so basically, central control plane with compute nodes at the edge is the model I've been working with. Uh, in both cases, we've been working with Packet.com, who was kind enough to provide us the to test beds. Uh, one of the deal breakers has been with the piece I'm working on is runs on triple O and requires out of band access. So that's got me a little hung up. But the other model we actually have working, and um, you know you can touch it and try it out for yourself if you wanted to see it. Um, Kirke, you think? Yeah, and it's, uh, it's important to mention that these uh, architectures are like so-called MVP architectures. So these are, let's say, the first steps for uh, uh, for edge computing, and we are working on uh, on um, figuring out how to evolve these architectures, how to uh, add more features to to these architectures, and this is an activity what we are having now. <laughs> Actually, so as part of this, we like to get some questions to dialogue going. So anybody has questions, feel free to speak up. I don't really have any more. If you could just give a brief um, synopsis of what specifically is different from centralized to distributed, just so that uh, everyone's. Excellent question. Okay, thanks. All right. So distributed control plane would be, you would have a central keystone, and on the edge, you would have uh, an additional keystone, and those two databases would be synchronized. Uh, the, the other model would be that you have a central data center with a central control plane, but it doesn't necessarily sync to the edge node, right? So in my case, it's just compute service would be running at the edge. Yeah. Anything to add or move forward? Yeah, yeah, and the, and the main difference is the like how how these uh, these architectures are are tolerating the network uh, partitioning, so that's the that's an important factor in when we are talking about edge computing. Do we have any more questions to to the panel at this point? Oh, I, w I would be yeah. <laughs> Sorry, for that's a small edge. How define that? What uh, it, it's the memory the and the uh, uh, CPU or how to define that uh, small edge? Yeah, we have a table somewhere in the wiki. I think about these sizes, but I would define small edge as a as a one compute node big thing. Okay, just the one compute node, but uh, the memory is same as that the large or medium the edge server. Oh, I think it can be smaller. Okay, <laughs> but what's the, the difference between large edge and uh, small edge? So the, the large edge is really a data center, so it's like tens or even hundreds of nodes. Mm -hmm. Medium, I would say it's 
around one rack, meaning like five to ten nodes, mm -hmm. and the smallest is one. Okay, got it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Anyone on the panel disagreeing with Gergay at this point? So if you look at the, the, the wiki for the working group, you can see it's kind of uh, t-shirt sizing, what small, medium, and large, what those things actually mean uh, as far as number of nodes and what kind of metal is there, with RAM, CPU, that kind of thing. Any further questions from the audience? Okay. Um, so at this point, I, I mentioned that we have a group here in, in China as well that we uh, formulated around a half year ago. Uh, I remember talking to uh, Shane and uh, Xu Chuan at a, at a meetup in China in April and um, hearing about a lot of activities in, in China. And we talked about having a, a local group here just to kind of make sure that the language barriers and uh, time zone difference uh, is not in the way of progress. So I would like to ask Shane and also Shuchon and Chiwi to, um, to talk about the, the local group here. Okay, uh, I'll give a brief introduction about the uh, local edge group. Uh, actually, uh, we have early this year, we discussed to form a local edge group during the uh, hackathon. And uh, then we uh, start to get to work. And Shane and uh, myself and Chihui, we are rotation to host the local group, edge group. Right now we have a rich hair group. There are maybe hundreds of people in, in that group. We have uh, every first day afternoon, we will have uh, about, it's a 4 p.m., 3 p.m., right? 3 p.m. we will have a weekly meeting to share the latest uh, uh, use cases or technology about the uh, edge. And uh, we have a China, like the user's perspective, we China Mobile will share their requirement about the uh, edge, and like the Intel, they it will share like the um, open source technology such as the OpenX and uh, uh, the StarX, and we also uh, invite other uh, companies uh, into this group to share what they did in the edge. Uh, right now, as we see uh, today, also is the uh, Shanghai Import. Uh, conference and Shane has uh, bring us a video about uh, the edge computing uh, use cases about just uh, intelligent glasses. We will show that uh, the video to see how the edge computing is actually happening around us. Yeah, so we, we realized the, we realize the, uh, the edge computing is coming and this video is I collected from the local uh, uh, TV station uh, uh, for the local, and it's happened today. So you, know, you mentioned about the architecture of the control plane. So, so how, are you discussing the architecture of the data plane? You know, how the data should flow between the edges and from the edge to the center? Is it within the scope of the working group? Or is there any architecture design for that? We are, we are, we are discussing only data which uh, relates to the infrastructure like images, volumes, and stuff like that. Nothing about the application level handling of the... Are you talking about workloads or...? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm interested, in especially in the networks, how the networks should be connected between the edges, or, or is it just a group of sh small OpenStack cluster, you know, connected with, like, IP, IP DPM or something. I mean, so 
what's the architecture design for the network side? Yeah, this so is something what we still need to figure out. So th th that's on our list for the future. Uh, the like the exact detailed design for that. But if you have the solution already, then. So I, I know on, on the small edge, it's uh, just Neutron agent running on the node and um, uh, the, s the service bus. That's basically the only thing talking to the control plane. Um, but depending on the model, uh, edge model you're going with, it, you may have a, a full network overlay. Um, I'm not quite sure how Starling X does theirs, um, but you know that would be something to look at is how Starling X is implementing their network. Does that help at all? Okay, thank you. Okay, we can go back to the Yeah, that is to say the security person in a rail, uh, in a uh, subway station to wear the glass and to monitor the, the population in a in a uh, station and uh, provide some uh, like a pr prediction or warning or e uh, even the the camera uh, in a, a station can help uh, to detect uh, the file uh, such like like that, like that. It has integrated 5G and the edge computing and uh, this uh, technology right now is for uh, Shanghai Expo, uh, import Expo, yeah. So uh, we realize uh, rea we realize the uh, edge computing is coming, and uh, this is a world that there's no one size for all. So we are not uh, focused on Starling X. Starling is also part of it. Uh, people want to use different uh, uh, technologies or different solutions to solve the edge computing problem. So we have uh, Starling X, we have uh, OpenStack, we have uh, ONAP, we have Arduino, we also have a proprietary software, a proprietary solution, we also have a China Mobile Sigma uh, solution. So uh, we, we want to um, use, uh, because uh, we know the time zone issue and the language issue, so we want to um, uh, gather the people uh, in uh, Asia Pacific, especially in the China mainland to speak Chinese and uh, to share the use case uh, in the edge computing and also share the technologies, uh, share the pin, uh, pain points, share the uh, how to fix the, the problems uh, in, the, in the meeting. So, so we uh, formed the uh, local edge computing working group on the OpenStack Foundation to discuss all of the, uh, all of the, the open source solution. Yeah, that is our purpose. Yeah, we also encourage people to join us and to share. Oh, uh, even you can listen to us, that's no problem. So if you can share more, that should be better, yeah. Yeah, uh, if you have interest in this group, you can go to scan the QR code. I, I can invite you guys to uh, join this group. And uh, uh, as we just mentioned, Chi Hui from China Mobile. So next, Chi Hui will help to introduce the uh, China Mobile's thinking on uh, edge computing. Uh, okay. Okay, so thanks for mentioning Sigma. It's like uh, China Mobile's past platform, which connects the uh, the uh, I say the network and also the cloud platform. But uh, I'm, I I I know 
I don't know very much about that platform. So if you are interested in that one, uh, you can contact me and I will do the introduction. And also uh, about the edge uh, working group, Asi Asian edge working group, Asian part, or uh, what's the name of our group? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, whatever. So, okay. So we, we actually talked more about the uh, vertical industry solutions like uh, uh, like that that glass and also maybe Starting X is doing some project with uh, a shrimp factory things. Yeah, yeah that, that's very popular. So we, we, we saw that a lot of uh, vertical industries are using the edge computing, but it's only for, for like the on on-prem solutions, it's, it's case by case. So uh, we think that maybe for the uh, future or maybe for the next year, we could move like uh, uh, move forward like uh, from the case case to case. Uh, sorry, the the, the uh, specific use cases to some uh, like general edge cloud. For example, uh, we can focus more on the collaboration between the clouds, like the uh, central cloud and edge cloud, edge cloud and edge cloud, and network and the cloud and things like that. And the second thing we think that maybe our group want to focus more is, uh, is like the, the unified management of different clouds because we think uh, no matter you are the provider of the cloud or the network or you are the user of the network and the cloud, uh, as long as you are using the multiple cloud, you have to like have an unified management things. So uh, maybe uh, from the user side, we want to focus more on, on that two part. And uh, also, we, we, we are trying to dig more into the ability, like the path abilities and stats abilities on the ad side. So maybe that's our future plan or something like that. Okay, okay thank you. As you heard, uh, she always said about his thinking about uh, the, the edge computing. Uh, by the way, I mentioned we also have another panel uh, to in writing uh, like the China Unicom and China Telecom. They w they will sit together to talk about the uh, edge computing efforts and what they are have finished in, in their job. So welcome, you guys can uh, join us. I the the panel it, it should be uh, tomorrow uh, four, four p.m. Yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, you can check check on the schedule. Uh, sorry, I forget the, the exact schedule. Um, right now, uh, I think I can pass the uh, phone to the audience to see if you have any questions about the uh, uh, to to the China specific group edge computing group. Anyone have questions? It's not specifically for the China group. It's more in, in general. The, the the picture on the on the slide shows sort of a distributed how you would distribute and and, and federate a control plane using OpenStack for for edge architectures. Um, something like Starling X takes a different approach in that I will just use OpenStack wherever I like and orchestrate my applications on top of them. Mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to sort of understand what the what the viewpoint is from the panelists around trying to move the complexity of orchestration down into a federation layer, as, as is depicted on the picture, versus simply just deploying lots of open stacks in different places and then, then using something to orchestrate on top of them. I don't know if anyone wants to, to support opinion. Yeah, I can answer it from the uh, Starling X point of view. Uh, as you know, Starling X, there is a feature called a distributed cloud. It can federate uh, actually different uh, sub-cloud and the sub-cloud can uh, like the report, like the monitor data or alarms to the central cloud, and central cloud can get all the data, and it's convenient for the operator to monitor all the uh, uh, edge uh, nodes and together with the central nodes. So that is the mechanism how the Starlex uh, implement. Thank you. So the prototype I've been working on is using uh, distributed compute node, which is a, a Red Hat kind of thing. And um, there's only one cloud, right? So all the compute nodes are essentially part of the same cloud. It's just in different availability zones. So you could have one orchestrator sitting on in at the um, at the central cloud using Mistral or whatever it is for marshalling workloads to different availability zones. Is how is how that would work. Does does that help answer your question? Uh, 
Any further viewpoints from, from the panel? Or any further questions from the audience? Who's looking to, to, to do edge computing or is making um, you know, forward progress into doing edge? What kind of work? What kind of workloads are, are are you guys working on, or use cases rather? So we are we are focusing at the moment mainly on the telco side. Uh, lots of the work going in at the moment, and especially on the client side, is uh, having multi stores. Uh, kind of stably deployed across so that we can we can uh, handle the image management centrally and make sure that we don't have same image needing to have a million different image IDs because every single site needs its own and that's one of the benefits having that one single deployment instead of having a multiple stacks around is that lots of the resources you can manage them on uh, through one single uh, class of pain uh, instead of uh, needing to handle that outside of the open stack. Obviously, we have lots of work to get get there, and uh, we have lots of uh, kind of the image management and uh, the store management side still unimplemented and and work in a process. But uh, our we as I Red Hat are working a lot at the moment to just uh, build our own. Uh, basically uh, reference architectures and we are working together with our partners to kind of get that moving onwards and, and have, uh, have those uh, actual production deployments going out and, and seeing, getting the feedback loop back and seeing what we actually need and, and what are the important bits to, to move onwards. Which brings me actually a quick question about your, your reference is taking into account that client registry has been deprecated for last almost two years now and would have been removed on train if we just had the time to do it. So I'm just wondering what your take is on, on that because it seems to be still part of your MVP. I actually missed the, the entry of deprecating. Distributed grants to deprecated. That would be a question for the Starling X guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we just kind of l missed the memo around. We should <laughs> remove those from the, uh, from the diagrams, but we'll work on that. So come to the PTG session on Friday and make sure that we cross it off and let us know what's, uh, what's the new uh, register stuff in Glens. Uh, any further comments or questions from the audience? If not, I would just um, ask uh, probably last question from the panel. I'll check the time. Uh, just to kind of what do you think is the what do you think the the use cases are and um, and activities that the working group should focus on everywhere, <laughs> globally, locally. So I think we got a, a good start on implementing some of the MVP. Um, I think we should carry on with that. Once we have functional MVPs, we should start trying to implement the actual use cases. And I started doing that with the caching one, but I'd like to see, um, you know, do some IoT and interesting things like the video we just saw. It would be great if we could get those kinds of workloads running on top of the MVP would be uh, a pretty compelling. I would say uh, uh, three things. Uh, one is uh, is is um, uh, is this getting the the verification of four or MVPs? What you are doing? That's very cool. Other thing is uh, is stabilizing what we currently have. So adding more test cases around, for example, Keystone Federation and the features what uh, what are, are are new and we are using. And the third one is to uh, like add new features to the current features that like looking into like how the networking should be um, uh, figured out uh, how do we do the the uh, provisioning of the of the edge clouds uh, and so on and so on <laughs> yeah um, regarding the uh, 
China local ecosystem, I think the um, working group should focus, encourage more users to talk about their thoughts and their use cases, and we can gather this material and uh, maybe write uh, and and write a write paper and summarize proper properly summarize all these use cases because there is a input uh, from the uh, end user, and we will know what software are we going to implement based on those uh, truly true requirements. And and then I think um, uh, right now we are from the short term, we are doing the uh, second write paper. I think that is a really good thing to uh, summarize uh, our ideas. I also encourage the people to join these efforts. And uh, we can, if you want to contribute code, you can just go to OpenStack project. But if you don't know how to write code, please come to contribute the document. Thank you. Yeah, uh, so, so far we uh, share the like uh, qu uh, Kubernetes, uh, the Kuber Edge, and also Aquino Openness, and also Sigma, uh, Starling X. So uh, we, I think with the two uh, focused area we are working on, one is uh, to t do tech sharing, to get more technologies uh, shared on our forum, it's a so-called forum. And the other thing is uh, we, we want to uh, hear more use cases from the industry so we can uh, collect the requirements for different uh, solutions to solve the problem. But uh, in the end, I hate to say this is a China user group. I, I, I want to say we are just a part of this OpenStack Foundation working group. I hate to say this is China, China only. Yeah, We just want to, uh, to uh, encourage more Chinese people to join us, but I, I, I remember, I still remember as, uh, yesterday as a uh, one uh, company join OpenStack as a gold member, but the, uh, his presentation is in Chinese. Uh, but he, at the beginning, he said, "My English is poor, but I try to learn more English." <laughs> so, so I, I think the language barrier should not be a problem. So, I encourage you more. Yeah. Thank you, and with that, unfortunately, we are out of time. I just would like to spend 30 more seconds on reminding people that we have a forum session around use cases and reference architectures, so we would like to learn about your use case. We would like to uh, get feedback from you around the reference architecture work um, and what your view is on uh, edge computing architectures out there for different use cases. So this is at 4 p.m. Uh, this afternoon. The starting XPTG sessions are Wednesday and Thursday morning and the Edge Working Group is also have a full day at the PTG on Friday. So if you're interested in uh, what we are doing and would like to uh, participate in activities, please come and find us at these sessions or well just around the conference this week. Um, and with that, I would like to thank our panelists uh, for the panel and apologies for all the technical difficulties that we encountered on this Monday. Thank you. Thank you.